Are you a pet collecting enthusiast and want to speed up the reputation grind for the big slick in the city mount? Then what you need is snail pets. Why should you care about going around and collecting snail pets? Well, in Zerilic Caverns, there is a snail racer named Briggle, and they are willing to give you 100 Glimmerog racer reputation for every level 25 snail pet you have that is not native to Zerilic Caverns. Obtaining max reputation with this faction will reward you with a pretty cool looking snail mount to add to your collection. There are 15 snails you can collect for a total of 1500 reputation, which is pretty nice since it only takes 2800 reputation to max the rep out. You get one quest per day to earn 100 reputation, so without the snails, it would take a full four weeks to farm the mount. So let's get into where we can find these snails. The first thing you want to do to make pet hunting easier for you is turn on pet battle icons for your mini map. Next, we'll start with the seven snails you can find in the open world through normal pet battling. We have the Mudshell Conch, Predatory Helicid, Rapana Welk, Rusty Snail, Shimmer Shell Snail, Silk Bead Snail, and the Spire Shell Snail. The Mudshell Conch is located in the Legion Zone of High Mountain along the northern shore. It's not too difficult to find these and will likely take you longer to fly there than it will to capture one. The Predatory Helicid is located in the Shadowlands Zone of Zerith Mortis, near a pond in the southeast area of the zone. The pond is really small. Look for the large Helicid snails in the area to know you're in the right spot. The Rapana Welk can be found in the Mists of Pandaria Zone of Dread Wastes in the area called Briny Muck. This is another easy one. Jump through the Jade Forest portal in your capital city and take the flight path straight to the Briny Muck if you've unlocked it. Rusty snails can be found in Ashenvale along the coast at the west side of the zone. They're easy to find all over the beach. Shimmer shell snails can be found in Darkshore along the coastline. Since the current version of Darkshore is a warfront, just talk with Zydormi to have her change it to the old version of Darkshore and you should find the snails no problem. Silk bead snails can be found in a few Warlords of Draenor zones. The fastest way to get to them would probably be to use your garrison hearthstone and fly over to Gorgrond. They are all over the Tangleheart area of the zone. And spire shell snails can be found literally all over the zone of Najatar. It should be easy to find this one. It should also be noted that fighting other battle pets in these zones have a chance of the snails popping up as a second or third pet in the fight, so if you're having troubles finding a specific snail, then just start fighting anything you find. While you are in Najatar, head over to the Eternal Palace. The Black Chasm Crawler can be found in the raid instance. You'll have to kill the first raid boss to get to the area with the crawlers, but don't worry. Just put the difficulty on normal, and the first boss should go down quickly with halfway decent gear and you might even grab a few transmogs while you're at it. After you swim through the tunnel, you'll end up in the big room where Lady Ashvane is. I found a couple crawlers down the waterfall to the right where you enter the room, and there was another one just after the first couple trash mobs to the left. The Amethyst Spire Shell is a random drop from killing Amethyst Spire Shell snails in Najatar. To make finding these snails easy, I would recommend making a slash target Amethyst Spire Shell and then fly around frequently hitting the macro until one pops up as you target. I spent about an hour and a half trying for this snail, and in that time, I only found three Amethyst Spire Shells, and none of them dropped it. I found this area of Najatar to work out pretty well. If you fly up to the top of the coral, then there will be snails all over the place. It seemed that the Amethyst Spire Shells are rare spawns for any of these snails, so just fly around and kill every snail you see, and good luck. The next snail is the Prismatic Soft Shell which can be found in Najatar, but it's locked behind friendly reputation with the Alliance-specific faction in the zone, the Waveblade and Cohen. For Horde players, our vendor sells the Damplight Slug instead. So if you're Horde and have an Alliance character, you can simply buy it from the vendor, or maybe you can get lucky and find it on the auction house. Zoom is obtained through completing the achievement Zoom, which is a mini event located in High Mountain at the Stone Dark Grotto. You help Zoom win the race by blocking the competition. Stand right in front of the other snails and you'll see a dirt animation around them, which means you are slowing them down. Just stand in front of the other snails and Zoom should have no problem winning. The next snail is Scooter the Snail and he can only be obtained during the Children's Week event that occurs once per year. So you'll either have to wait until April 29th, 2024, or you could also get lucky and find him on the auction house, but I can't imagine he'll be cheap. The last three snails are Archetype of Vigilance, Microlicid, and Shelly. 
which can be crafted through the protoform synthesis system in Xerath Mortis. If you're like me and took a break during Shadowlands, then you may not have the pet synthesis forge unlocked yet, which requires the dialic understanding level of the cipher system. If you haven't done anything in Xerath Mortis, then you might consider skipping these snails, since it'll probably take longer to get these snails than it would to complete the Glimmerog racing event for the mount. Some of the cipher research can take three to five days to complete. If you have the Synthesis Forge unlocked already, then Archetype of Vigilance requires a glimmer of vigilance from overgrown protector mobs, one Helicid Lattice, and 300 Genesis Motes. For Shelly, you'll need to find the Shelly Schematic, which is found in the Lexical Grotto at this location near the top of the shelf. It can be tricky to get up there, but as a warrior who went with Venthyr, I could either Heroic Leap or use Door of Shadows to teleport up the shelf. I'm honestly not sure what method Blizzard had in mind when placing the scroll there. You'll also need a Glimmer of Serenity looted from the Glimmer of Serenity objects, one Helicid Lattice, and 450 Genesis Motes. Microlicid requires the Microlicid schematic, which is much easier to find. Head into the Path of Inception area and take a right. It'll be hiding in some leaves at this location. You'll also need a Glimmer of Satisfaction, which you have a chance of receiving when consuming feasts in Xerath Mortis or the Sepulchre of the First One's Raid Instance. You'll want to load up on feast for a chance at that one. You'll also need one Helicid Lattice and 150 Genesis Motes. The Synthesis Forge for Pets is located down this tunnel just south of Pilgrim's Grace. Unless you are a completionist, then I wouldn't worry about these snails right now if you haven't unlocked the Pet Forge yet. And that's all 15 snails you can collect for the Glimmerog Racer faction. If you're in a bit of a lull with the game and haven't gotten big slick yet, then little things like snail collecting can help fill some time. While going out and getting these snails, I had fun doing these pet battles. It will probably look more into pet collecting for something to do. If you haven't done pet battles before, then who knows, maybe you'll have fun too. Thanks for watching, and if you like random guides like this, then consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, take care.